What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today we are talking about how much you should charge as a beginning filmmaker. As a beginner, it is sort of hard to figure out what you should charge your clients, especially if you haven't been doing this for a very long time. Obviously, you want to make some sort of money, but you can't be charging people for something that you do not know how to do well as a beginner. Now, there are two types of beginners ones who do not have any work at all in their portfolio and the other who has a couple, maybe like three or four projects underneath their belt and they're ready to get bigger clients, but they don't know where to start when they're talking about prices. So first let's go over what you can do if you don't have a portfolio. So how much can you charge clients if you don't have any sort of work to show for? Well, Unfortunately, there isn't much that you can do. One of the most common ways to build your portfolio, especially when you don't have one, is to do free work. Now, I know that's definitely not something that you want to hear, especially when you're first starting out. But if you think about it from a client's perspective, when you don't have a portfolio, clients are very hard pressed to trust you in doing a good job for them, especially when there's money on the line. So the best way to go about it is to charge extremely, extremely low prices or flat out do it for free. And this way it's a win-win for everybody because clients are very open to free work. If you do a good job, then they can have something that they can use and you get something on your portfolio. But if you don't do a very good job, then they didn't really lose that much because they're not really paying you anything at all. And more importantly, other than just building up your portfolio, you need to understand the workflow. You need to experience how long it takes to plan a shot, how long it takes to shoot it, and then how long it takes to edit everything together. You can't promise the client that you'll take two weeks to finish a project, but then in actuality, it takes you a month or even a month and a half to pull off a finished product. And that's a really fast way to lose the trust in your clients. And it's also important to experience the mistakes and all the bad stuff that could go wrong on a shoot. So as a complete beginner, you're pretty much charging zero dollars to your clients, but let's say you've already built out your portfolio, you've done maybe a three or four projects already, so you aren't a complete beginner, but you haven't reached that peak professional level yet. How much should you be charging your clients? Well, one of the easiest ways, and this is something that I did as well, was to just go online and ask other professional companies what they charge, or just simply Google some people's companies and see what rates they put on their website. So you can sort of have an idea of what people are usually charging in your area. And it's important to search within your area because prices are very different depending on location. A filmmaker from Los Angeles would not be charging the same thing as a filmmaker in Sacramento. In fact, someone from Sacramento might charge more than someone from LA simply because there's a lack of filmmakers in Sacramento versus a whole bunch of filmmakers out here in LA. So do your research and find out what people are charging in your specific area for the services that you you're offering. And if you think that your work is comparable or if you can produce similar quality work to the professionals, then I would price yourself very competitively. However, for most beginners, your work isn't quite there yet. It's not as polished. It's not to the same level as professionals. And it's important to be very honest to yourself about it so you can start improving and start getting better and better. And in that case, you can't charge nearly the same amount as professionals. So make sure to lower your prices accordingly. Another very easy way to figure out how much to charge your client is to literally ask your client what their budget is. Usually if you're working with a medium sized company, they will have a marketing team that has some sort of budget allocated for producing commercial work, videos or photos, and it doesn't hurt to ask them what their budget is. And that way it makes it super clear to both parties what they're paying you and then what you're delivering to them. But what if the client doesn't even have a budget at all? Usually in that case, you ask them what they are expecting from you. And going off of that from your experience, figuring out how much it takes to plan the shoot, to actually shoot it, and then also to edit the entire thing, you're gonna come up with a total price either charging by hourly rate or what I recommend is a flat fee where you lump everything together into one price. And that makes it a lot easier for the marketing team to present it to the CEO and you know exactly what they're expecting you to do. It's good to know what the client wants because let's say they want you to shoot some outdoor footage for some video that they're wanting to put together. If you have a drone, you can turn around and say, hey, you know, for a thousand dollars extra, I can give you some really good drone footage. And it's great because you can suggest new ideas to the client that they might not have even thought of before and provide them with better quality of work. And in turn, you can get paid more. And it really is a win-win situation for both sides. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions down below in the comment section. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.